Hi everyone on booktube it's Andrea here today and I've been meaning to do this video for a little while but I haven't been well I've had a bit of a cold and uh, sinusitis which gives me a really bad headache I've still got it at the moment it feels like I've been hit over the head with a sledgehammer so it's not good but I wanted to do my book haul for September because we're near the end of the month and I've got so many other videos that I want to do in the next week I thought I'd crack on and show you all the books that I've picked up this month some of them I've read some of them I haven't some of them I'm saving for uh, readathons later on in the year. Okay, so the first book I picked up was, well it's not in any particular order but they're just in a pile so, so the first book I'm going to show you is A Girl Named Pearl. I've already done a review of this, this is by Michelle Morgan. Um, I really loved this book and I'm going to leave a, a link to where you can buy the book in the in the um, down bar below. So that was one of the books I picked up this month. Another book I picked up this month was The Poetry Collection Undying, a love story by Michelle Faber. I saw this on Jen Campbell's uh, channel and I've been trying to read more poetry so I thought I'd pick this up. It's a beautiful cover. Um, I've read a few of the poems and it is truly heartbreaking stuff. I'm really looking forward to diving into this um, when I'm on, I've got a week of annual leave coming up soon so there'll be a lot of reading and this is one of the books I intend to get stuck into. Um, then of course I did Diversathon and I read The Strange Library by Haruki Murakami and The Garden of Evening Mists by Tan Tuan Eng. Now these were two books I weren't going to buy but I just bought them specifically because of the Diversathon um, readathon that we did and these things are so bad for my bank balance but there we go. I also picked up this month uh, Jessie Burton's The Muse. I got this I got this in my local supermarket. I've been wanting it for a while and I had some, some money left over in my book fund so I thought why not. Another book I picked up this month and there's lots of them. I got um, the novella Breakfast at Tiffany's by Truman Capote with a lovely Audrey on the cover. <laughs> um, obviously I've seen the film. I do want to read the book because I do understand that the novella is slightly different and the character was changed a little bit from the book to the screen and, and little breakfast at Tiffany's fact for you here that Truman Capote actually wanted Marilyn Monroe to play Holly Golightly in the film but um, it's practically unimaginable after seeing Audrey because she's fabulous obviously. Um, then of course I picked up the next two for George R. R. Martin's A Song of Ice and Fire because I'm still continuing to, to read through that. I haven't read any of those this month so I bought A Storm of Swords Part 1 Steel and Snow and part two, Blood and Gold. They're much better to look at. Yay! So I will be cracking on with those shortly. Of course, uh, September saw the release of the, the Witches Vacuum Cleaner by the fantastically funny Terry Pratchett. This is a collection of short children's stories that he's written over the years. Um, I've actually, I got this from the book depository so I had a nice mark with it it's actually in there for some reason it is illustrated there's some nice illustrations as well so I'm looking forward to cracking on with that hopefully on my holiday I think I'm going to be reading loads then after reading Jamaica Inn I decided it was time to pick up Rebecca by Daphne du Maurier and I've got it in the same type of edition which is the vintage I don't know what, what it's called what they call it oh there's so many blank pages in the front of this one Virago Modern Classics edition, which is because I like the covers. So I've picked that up. So I'll be reading that shortly, I hope. And I picked up two books that I'm not even going to need to tell you about because everybody's read them except for me. And that's Rainbow Rowell's Fangirl and Carry On. Now, as you can see, I got these in my local supermarket because they run two for seven pounds. So I thought, why not? It's got to be done. Usually my partner gets a book and I get a book. We have one each, but... I bought those two. I, can't, I can't, actually can't wait to get stuck into Fangirl. I really can't. I'm, I'm dying to get into it. Another book from my local supermarket is Stephen King's The Bazaar of Bad Dreams, which is another short story collection, but this time from the Master of Horror. I love Stephen King. I used to have loads of Stephen King. I got rid of most of my Stephen King apart from here. You can see there's uh, 112263. And here I have parts one, two, and five. One, two, three, four, and five of the, the Green Mile selection section uh, book so yes another Stephen King I love Stephen King a book I saw on um, another channel it was a book olive and I'll put a link to her channel down below uh, it was a non-fiction book called the keys to Egypt the race to read the hieroglyphs by Leslie and Roy Adkins it's a gorgeous cover 
I love anything to do with ancient Egypt. In fact, you can't see it, but in the bottom two shelves here are mostly Egypt books. In fact, the bottom shelf is all Egypt and the rest is other history, but a lot of ancient Egyptian stuff as well. So I'm going to save that for non-fiction November. And I'm going to devour that when non-fiction November comes around. I'm really excited about that. A couple of months ago, I read Cinder by Marissa Mayer. So this month I picked up Scarlet so I can continue reading the Lunar Chronicles. I love the covers. Again, I got this from Book Depository because, uh, yeah, you can still get the hardbacks. <laughs> and I prefer hardbacks. So. Really, really looking forward to that. I went to the works last week, which is lethal because they always have three for five pound. So I picked up three books for five pound. Hey, hey, go me. I picked up Tess Gerritsen, The Silent Girl. I don't know if you can see it, but here, they're all Tess Gerritsen's from there. Oh, wait, so excuse me, I just have some fruit juice. It's because I've got a cold, it's mango juice actually. So I love Tess Gerritsen. I haven't read any Gerritsen for a while. So the tagline of this is no one can help you if no one can hear you scream. <clears throat> Evil is on the prowl. I love this sort of book. I also picked up Fear the Darkness by Ma Ma Becky Masterman. Beth Bridget Quinn has been shot at, stabbed in the spleen with a nail file and used as serial killer bait, but she's always been able to trust her instincts and her FBI training to help her out of danger. So that sounds like a good fun one. And picked up a bit of a romancy one now, which is called The Doris Day Vintage Film Club by Fiona Harper. Claire Bixby grew up watching Doris Day films at her grandmother's house and yearned to live in a world like the one on the screen, sunny, colourful and where happy endings were guaranteed. But recently Claire's opportunities for a little puller talk have been thin on the ground until she meets a new client, Nick, who comes into her travel agency look to book the perfect getaway. Too bad it's a for two. So yeah, that was easy and I will admit I did just buy it because it had Doris Day in the title. Because I thought it sounds quite fascinating. Um, Picked up a book from my local supermarket when, from their 50p charity shelves. That was Sophie Kinsella's 20s Girl. This is one of the few Sophie Kinsella's I haven't read. have read most of them. Um, so I'm looking forward to getting into that one. <coughs> oh, excuse me. This is flipping cold. It's not good. Um, another Michelle Morgan book I picked up was <coughs> The Ice Cream Blonde. The Whirlwind Life and Mysterious Death of Screwball Comedian Thelma Todd. This has been a well-received biography by Michelle. I'm, I'm looking to get started on this in the next day or so. I've got quite a few books on the go at the moment. So, But this one, because I really am interested in movie history and Thelma Todd is one of those stars. She made like over 120 movies and she was only 29 when she died. Michelle was very lucky. Um, she recently went to America, to Hollywood, for a trip, and she actually got to go around. She had a tour of uh, Thelma Todd Sidewalk Cafe, which was the cafe that Thelma owned in the 1930s, and she was dead chuffed about that. So, yeah, she, she's dead. Yeah. And anyone's coming out soon, which I can't wait, which is about Carol Lombard. Did I mention I like biographies and non-fiction? Another non-fiction book I bought. Again, it was only 50p in my local supermarket's charity shelf. And this is actually a replacement for a book I used to have. And that is Patricia Cornwall's Portrait of a Killer, Jack the Ripper Case Closed. I had this book when it first came out. I lent it to somebody and never got it back. This is probably actually my copy. Um, so I saw this in, in there and I just snapped it up 50p just to replace it. Put it on my Jack the Ripper section up here. Um, so yes, read it years ago. Probably will reread it at some point, but I thought I've got to get another copy of that. And finally, I know, it's a big book haul. Uh, there is the book from the book uh, and a brew monthly subscription box, The Fair Fight. Obviously I've done an unboxing of this, which I'll link down below so you can go and have a good look. I do read the blurb uh, as well. So if you want to know a bit more about that, just check out the, the blurb down below. So, so far that is all the books I bought in September, but that's not all the books I got in September because I have been given some as well and I will be doing a separate book haul for the books I've been given later on in next week or so with a load of other videos I've got planned. So what have you all been buying this month? I love looking at book hauls. I like recommendations. So if there's anything you think I should be reading, judge on what would buy what I'm buying, 
leave a comment below and say, oh, you need to check out this author. I gotta admit, I do love watching book hauls, but I do find them very, very frustrating because I end up putting 10 books on the list of books I must have. Um, I'm glad Christmas is coming because I know what I'm asking for Christmas. Books! <laughs> but there, yeah, so yeah, I mean, leave me any recommendations of books you think I should be reading, whether it be fiction, non-fiction, biographies, history, I don't mind, give me some recommendations, I'm always up for a good read. Anyway, so that's it for today, I'm gonna go and try and get rid of this headache. I hope you're all well, obviously give me the thumbs up if you've liked this video, uh, you know, share, subscribe, leave a comment with recommendations please, and I will see you all in the next day or so. Happy reading guys, bye!